talking about similar polygons in this video. Similar polygons are very similar to similar triangles in the fact that they're going to be the same shape but not necessarily the same size um, in comparison to one another. So what you need to do is look for uh, corresponding parts in addition to corresponding angles. So here we have uh, two poorly sketched quadrilaterals, um, but we're stating that they are similar. Quadrilateral ABCD is similar to quadrilateral WXYZ. So that means that side AB is going to correspond with side WX, CD will correspond with side YZ, BC will correspond with XY, and DA will correspond with ZW. And here I've color-coded them just to make it a little bit easier to see. This is something you may want to do when you're doing your um, problems in class, but certainly not necessary. So here I filled in some information on these quadrilaterals, uh, various lengths and measurements. And what you need to do when you're solving these problems is um, twofold. One, they may want to know if, in fact, the two quadrilaterals are in proportion. And the way you do that is you pick corresponding parts to make a proportion. So here I've picked 0 0.8 and 1.5. I've made those my numerators. So this, the numerators will represent this polygon. And then the corresponding parts, 1.2 and 2.25. I've made my denominator, and it's going to re refer to this quadrilateral here. Now, I could have easily put all of this information about this quadrilateral on one side of the equation, or one side of the proportion and all my information about the other one on the other side of the proportion. So there are definitely several um, different ways you can set these up. Okay, the way you go about determining whether they are in fact proportion or not is you cross multiply. And after you cross multiply, if the two sides equal one another, that means that uh, those sides are in proportion and you can make the assumption that the two quadrilaterals then are similar. Now another thing you may have to do is determine the length of a missing side. Here I've replaced the uh, value or distance for that side with a variable and what you need to do is match up corresponding parts and create a proportion. So I've just replaced that value down here with x and cross multiplied 0.8x here. 1.2 times 1.5 will get you 1.8. Going to divide both sides by 0.8. And the solution is going to be 2.25, which was our measurement up here before. Now, one thing I can guarantee that you're going to see is a problem set up like this where your corresponding parts oppose one another and really this these two triangles don't match up at least not in the traditional sense that you would see it so what I would do is actually redraw one of the triangles the reason why is oh, the way it's set up initially this side corresponds with this side and this side corresponds with this side that can be a little bit confusing. If you redraw it and flip it, now this side and this side correspond, and this side and this side correspond. Personally, I find that far easier to work with. Um, it's personal choice. You don't have to do it. It's not required. But by taking just a few minutes, or probably less than a minute, to redraw it, it makes the problem far easier to set up. 